Hello everyone, my name is Steve Newman and I'm a sales engineer at Sweetbriar. Today, we'll be discussing drive trust rules. Trust rules are a replacement for drive sharing settings. When you make the switch, sharing settings will automatically be converted to trust rules. Today, we'll walk you through how to create a trust rule and then the end user experience. We'll jump into the control panel. On the left-hand side, select rules, now you notice at the top, Introduction to Trust Rules. Trust Rules became generally available in November. You may have some experience or they may be new to you. At the bottom, select Create Rule, and we'll choose Trust. Now here at the start of the rule, you must first input a name. We're gonna be blocking the US and the France organizational units from sharing. So we'll choose Include Organizational Units, and we'll select France, and Done. Bottom, Continue. Here is where we decide what we're looking for. Sharing is when I share a file with someone else. Receiving is when someone else tries to share a file with me. We'll select both options, and at the bottom, we'll add a condition. You have the ability to use organizational units as well as users, groups, and external organizations. As we previously stated, we'll choose organizational unit. We already chose the France OU, so now we'll choose the United States organizational unit. Hit select at the bottom, and now continue. Here, we can choose what actions will be taken. Do we want to allow? Allow with warning or block. We'll choose block and then continue. Here is an overview of the rule. If you need to make changes, select back in the bottom left. Our rule looks good, so we'll choose finish. The rule has been created and we can see that it's active. Now we'll take a look at the end user experience. What does it look like when a user attempts to share a file? We're in a Google Sheet at the top right. We can actually see the document contains sensitive data that lets us know there's a DLP rule attached to the file. DLP rules don't impact internal sharing, so that's why a drive trust rule is needed. The current user is in the France organizational unit, and they're going to attempt to share with someone in the US organizational unit. We'll select share. We've added in the United States organizational unit user, John. We can see the domain is the same, so we know that it's an internal user. When we select send, we are notified that the file cannot be shared. Thank you for your time today. Hopefully that was helpful in learning how to set up Drive Trust rules. If you have questions about anything Workspace or Google Cloud Platform related, please reach out.